Hello, this is Nikki in Niagara, and this is a flip through and review of Garden Circles by Tabitha L. Barnett. We have a glossy front cover and back, which shows us some colored examples of the work we will find inside. So it says that there are 48 hand drawn mandalas, 37 printed on white paper and two printed on black paper. That doesn't add up to 48. Maybe that's supposed to be four. Yeah, well, there's more than two <laughs> on black paper. There's a little section at the back. Okay, so we've got 48, 48 mandalas all together. So this is an Amazon printed book and therefore the paper has all the qualities to which we have grown to know. We start with a title page which is colorable and our copyright information. This book was self-published by Amazon in 2017. Then we have our This Book Belongs To page which also is colorable, and we start straight into the mandalas. Oh, wait a minute. Garden circles. We start right into the circles. Let's make a little bit of a distinction there. I think pretty much we, we can pretty much call all of these mandalas. We may have a couple that don't qualify. We'll have to see. I haven't looked through this yet myself. So the book is printed on one side of the page. The backs of the papers have been left white, which I appreciate. There are no frames around the pictures, but that's not needed with a, with a mandala at all. So the line work here is, I guess I would call it medium. These are going to be perfectly okay for alcohol markers, though. They're thick enough for that. Uh, I have just... I have recently uh, found Tabitha Barnett uh, as an illustrator, and I have um, just become overjoyed by the uh, whimsical and cute <laughs> appeal of her work. And I love her mandalas. So I'm going to have to stop saying I just became a, f a fan of hers because I think. I have about five or six of her books now, so I, th I think I'm used to her enough to not say that anymore. Oh, well, there's one that's quite straightforward as a mandala, but it keeps the garden theme by having a flower and leaves. Well, that's quite unique as well. Personally, in a book like this, my favorite ones that have little pictures inside them. Yeah, nice, unique uh, mandalas. Lots of patterns. There's a lot in here that don't have the, that don't have any. This is going to be interesting to color because there's pointillism in there, and that's going to create some shading. Uh, you can, if you're using pencils, you can use that as a guide as to where to shade. But if you're using markers, it will just add some shaded areas. This is nice. I'd say that everything in here is on a... Uh, now, this is getting a little hard for me to open because there's a lot of pages here and I haven't, I haven't uh, cracked it, so it'll be better once I have. Frogs and snakes. Ooh. I like that. Yes, these are going to be very pretty and... Uh, they call out for colorful colors. Yeah, I'm quite amazed at how much is in here. And then we get a great big sunflower at the end. Really pleased with this. A 
Okay, and then Tabitha Barnett, she does not provide uh, duplicate pages. What she does is provide some uh, of the patterns a second time, but this time with a black border. And this can make the page seem like it's almost a new, a new picture. Oh, I do not recall seeing that one in the book. I think this is the only time it appears. Now I've got a bit of a white line running through my page here. Um, I've only just noticed this now, so it's too late to return the book to Amazon, but I don't think it bothers me that much. That is a printing error and has nothing to do with the copy of the book that you'll receive or anything like that. This one is different from what is at the front of the book as well. Hmm, these look like they're new ones at the back. Some some of them anyways, because I don't remember that either. That I do. And then we get some color test sheets on both black and white paper. And this is Tabitha's uh, social media page where she gives you all her information and it's even colorable. And then for the last pages we have one, we have two blank pages at the back which could be used for scrap paper. And once again, this is Garden Circles by Tabitha L. Barnett. <laughs>